people. It is time for another hit workout. But this HIIT workout is gonna be completely different than workouts I've done in the past. These workouts I have never done before. I found a bunch on Instagram and I was like, you know what? Let's just try it because I wanted to do something different than my normal burpees, jump lunges, and jumping jacks. I wanted to kind of switch it up for you guys and show you a good full body slash HIIT workout. When you combine HIIT, high intensity interval training with weightlifting and you put those bad boys together, that is going to optimize your fat burning. I always like to incorporate weight training with some HIIT and some cardio and psh, my fat melts off like that. In today's video, I'm going to walk you guys through this workout. I hope you guys liked it. If you do like this workout footage with commentaries, then give this video a big old thumbs up and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Okay, let's get into the video. I feel like it's been forever and a day since I've done a commentary and I kind of like doing them. I like being able to talk to you guys, have my little face on the screen and explain my workout. So your girl got creative for this HIIT workout. So the first exercise you see me doing here are going to be toe taps. So I did 16 toe taps and then I just did a jump lunge on each leg. This workout is going to get your heart rate up a lot. So if you need a second break before moving into the next exercise, no worries. Just take about like 30 seconds and then move right into the next exercise. My next workout was going to be plank walks into a push-up. These are extremely difficult. I was sweating, I was huffing and puffing. My chest was so sore after this. So you wanna make sure you stay in a nice plank position. You wanna make sure that your back is flat. I know I have a habit sometimes of kind of pushing my butt up. So you wanna make sure you are completely flat when you are walking. And then you're just gonna go into a push-up. Again, when you are doing your push-ups, you wanna make sure that your back is flat and you are leading with your chest. A lot of times I just try to drop down my stomach first and that's not the way you wanna do it. So make sure you're keeping an eye on your push-up form and your plank walking form these are going to be crab walks with the band but I got a little creative and I added a little jump in there so what you're gonna do is you're gonna do four crab walks with the band and then once you reach that fourth crab walk you're gonna jump up into a jump squat and this is kind of just get your legs moving get your heart rate up get your legs shaking your legs will be crying they will be crying until and telling you please stop please stop doing this to me because they're gonna hurt really bad after this Then I moved into jackknives, but I threw a ball. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold the ball in your hands and you're gonna touch up with your feet. Um, normally you guys see me do the other abs with stability ball where I actually release the ball into my leg, but this is just a different variation to kind of switch it up and keep your body guessing. I say this all the time, but you wanna make sure that you are doing different workouts each time. You don't wanna go into the gym and do the exact same ab workout every single day because your body's going to adapt to that and it's gonna hit a plateau. So make sure that you are always switching it up. You guys know I love training my shoulders. This is one of my absolute favorite shoulder workouts. This workout is really gonna get your shoulders nice and round like, like I know we all want. So when you're doing around the world, you wanna make sure that your arms are always slightly bent and you wanna just obviously pull it up, pull it around the world and then drop it back down. With shoulders, you wanna make sure that you grab a weight where you can execute the form properly. You don't wanna be hucking the weight up with your back. You wanna only be using your shoulders. So make sure you grab a weight that's a little bit lighter so you can do the form correctly. Then I just did this workout because I'm basic and I wanted to try and see if I could do it. I saw it on Instagram and I was like, you know what? I think I got that. So I did something similar in my last full body workout where I was doing like kind of like bicycles. This is gonna be almost the same, but you wanna have your legs in a flutter kick movement. So you're gonna reach up and kick your legs all the way down, but you don't wanna hit the ground with your legs. You wanna make sure you go just about to the ground and then throw those legs back up. Because once you drop your legs to the ground, then you're gonna lose that tension and it's gonna stop working your abs. You're not gonna get abs, I'm just kidding. But make sure that you're keeping that tension the whole way through because it's so important with core. And that's gonna do it for this workout video. I hope you guys liked it. If you guys did like this video, please, again, give it a big old thumbs up. It really supports my channel and lets YouTube know that I don't completely suck at these. And I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye. Bye.